Hello and welcome to Style Quotient. My name's Cherry and welcome to the third edition of my fashion and styling blog. Now today we're going to do a 1960s look um, with sort of um, fluffy, sort of um, psychedelic kind of theme. Okay, so we're going to start with the hair as usual. Now, bringing out the trusty roll, if you saw my previous two blogs, I've used this um, already twice, and it's fantastic, because we're going to create the beehive with this, okay? So you can get these from any um, beauty store or pharmacy, and you can get them online as well. Um, you can also clip them in the middle to create, um, you can create buns with these as well, so they're absolutely fantastic, and they're really cheap. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush the hair, we're going to grab the front part of the hair and brush it forward, okay? Now we're going to, you can use a comb if you want to section off the two sides and what we're going to do is brush the rest of the hair backwards like this. Okay, so get quite a thick bit of hair, if you've got a fringe that's fine, you can just brush it upwards as well. So we're just going to brush forward, brushing back the side bits like so. Okay, now you're going to grab your roll, like this, and you're literally going to put it to the top of your hair, and you're going to roll downwards towards your um, scalp. So you're just going to roll down like this, grabbing the sides. Now once it's down, hold it into sort of a, a moon shape, or a letter C, and you can spread the hair across. Now you might use to do a bit of tweaking, you can do also a little bit of back comb in if you want, um, but because of the roll itself, um, it's quite good because you don't need to do that much back combing. So we're just going to spread out the hair like so, hold on to the roll, and then you're going to grab some curvy grips, okay, and you're going to put them into the side of the roll, spreading out the hair. So we're going to clip one in this side. I'm going to go for one in the other just to get the initial sort of roll down there. So you've got it and you can sort of sculpt it from here onwards. So we're going to put a few more grips in like this. Okay, just put, pop a couple into the back, you can hide them. Obviously use um, the colour, the right colour roll to match your hair as well. And if you have red hair, I'd go for a brown, um, brown mesh roll actually. So we're just going to... Secure that across there, brushing across. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of a nice sort of semicircle on top of your head there. So we're just going to spray it with some hairspray. Again, you can use your hand or you can use a comb to smooth out the edges, like so. Now, if you want to do a sweep at the front, you just grab like a little bit of hair and put it across first before you do your beehive. So you can do that look as well. Um, now we're going to do the hair in some ponytails, um, which is a really, really cute look. Nancy Sinatra um, from the 60s really, really sort of um, rocked this look a lot. If you watch the Boots Are Made For Walking video, you can see her sporting a similar look. So what we're going to do is we're going to part the hair at the back. You can do it with your hands or a comb, whatever's easier for you. And we're just going to pop into two ponytails, like so. So, we're going to do one here. And you're going to secure it upwards. And we're going to do one on the other side, like this. Um, now what we're going to do is we've, we've got like a headscarf here, a head wrap. Now I'm a massive fan of headscarves as you probably saw in the other videos. Um, this one, these ones are good, the 60s ones, the thin ones, you can get them from markets pretty much anywhere. And silk ones with um, paisley print or psychedelic print are very sort of typical of the 1960s. I have a nice sort of pink psychedelic one here. So I'm just going to literally put it around the top of your head, okay? And we're going to tie at the back like so. And tie it in a knot, just one knot at the back. 
Now, always in the 60s, you can also tie it on the side as well if you want a bit of a different look right there. And then you're just going to push it up a bit and smooth out. Okay, now as for makeup, obviously the 60s was about very big eyes and um, lots of mascara, very Twiggy-esque. So we're going to start by putting a bit of white on the eyes right now. So you're going to cover the whole of your eye with white. So the whole base of your eyelid you're going to do white, so we're just going to quickly show you now. Okay, we do the other one as well. Now, if you wanted to use a different colour, you can go for something like baby blue, um, or like a purpley colour is also really nice. So just fill in the whole of the eyelid there. Okay, now um, we're going to grab a black um, pencil. Now you can use liquid eyeliner if you've got a really steady hand, but the best thing to do is use the pencil and then you can blend slightly with your finger or with a blending brush. So you're going to literally put the, the pencil from the corner of your eye here and drag it upwards and out um, to create your big 60s eye flick. So I'm going to show you a demonstration now. Okay, as you can see there, there's one. So what you can do then is you can blend it with your brush. Like so. Okay, now what you can also do is you can put um, the black liner on the bottom of your eyelid. To create another line there as well. So I'm going to do the other one really quick for you now. Okay, now we're going to move on to mascara. Now, like I said, it was the big, big, firm sort of like twiggy eyes. So we're going to put lots of mascara on um, and on the bottom lashes as well. If you want to use fake eyelashes, you can put them on the top and on the bottom to create really dramatic eyes. So we're just going to literally put as much on as you can. And also, if you put the um, mascara brush facing upwards, it kind of gets in to um, the corner of your eye and sort of spreads out the lashes more. And on the bottoms as well. Now, to really sort of bring out those eyes, you can use a bit of um, white eyeliner. So you just pop it underneath your eyelid on the waterline to really make those eyes pop out. Okay. Now the final thing we're going to do is the earrings. So I've got these big statement sort of yellow plastic ones, they're original 1960s ones. Um, as you can see it's all about the hoops in the 60s, so hoops and any sort of plastic clip-on ones are also really big depending on what look you want to create. Um, the go-go dancers in the clubs, um, it was very much about circles, so you'd see a lot of hoop earrings, um, you'd see lots of um, silver hoops on the clothes as well. Um, lots of really long necklaces if you want to add some more sort of jewellery there. Okay, so thank you for watching my third edition of Style Quotian. This is the 1960s look. Thank you very much for listening and please subscribe to my blog. <laughs>